All right, so let's save. I found a guy named a Shady Rudian. We're gonna talk to. See what the hell he's all about. He looks very shady. And then we're gonna go back to the Sith base, try to find these Shell Cat, Shell Cat, and then go from there. Why do you bother me? I wish to speak to you. Why are you standing here in a corner? For my own reasons. Those who, who know me wish to do business. I know that I can be found here. You'll either do business for me or leave. Business? I trade and sell Pazak cars for those who have interest. <clears throat> those stupid Pazak cars. <laughs> there. I bought four. If I ever want to play Pazak, I'll have a good deck because I bought others at other places too. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go back to this to the Sith base and go to the door that was locked before. Hopefully, be able to get through there and rescue these cell cats that are in there. <clears throat> or we just get them all killed. <laughs> well. Where's the base? This way? Yep. There's also a general shop. Maybe I should buy more healing. I find, it, I find it extremely pleasing someone finally stood up to the Sith and dealt with them in their embassy. I thought they'll be driven from the planet, but any harm they suffer brings me joy. <clears throat> Oh, I could buy computer spikes. I bought the two he had. Alright, I don't want anything else from him. I guess the computer spikes are good. Okay. So no one absolutely nobody is talking to me at all. People are barely talking in the stream chat. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Wait, let me save again. I would love to have conversations with you guys as I play, but no one is talking to me whatsoever. <laughs> People are acting like there's no chat at all. Would I ever do another Dragon Age Origins playthrough? Yes, I would. I would consider doing that again. Um, let's say there's a new Dragon Age game coming out, because I believe they are working on one. Then I would consider maybe doing it as a way to kind of get myself back into the series. <clears throat> What's up, Dark Side Chris? Good to see you here today. Darkest, darkest person, I'm doing two jobs at work because someone in another department transferred. I'm beat. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, so... We're already back here. It's hilarious. We're back here already, man. So the good news is we can now take the shortcut door we open. We don't have to go through that stupid water puzzle again. We slaughtered all the dudes here so we can easily just jog right through. Here's the shortcut door. Why is that guy's body still there? Wait a minute. Because there was a repair kit sitting there for some reason. That's weird. Okay, I thought I had looted that earlier. <clears throat> Stingy Nick says, I would spec Candorous for dual blades. You can upgrade one sword with ion damage for bots. You get a badass poison sword later. Ah, okay. I'm feeling fine, Junior Man. I don't know, no cough or fever. <clears throat> Cousin Sven, it's because you. The reason I called you an idiot is because you said something stupid. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Look! Yes? Oh! Well, I guess this is one way to get in. Yeah, it's one way to get in. Damn, I don't want to have to kill the Soul Cat, but attacked me. All right, let's save again then. <clears throat> okay. Capcom did a 200-bit cheer and says, "What games are you looking forward to this year?" 
Well, now that we've looked at the game's release list, definitely Doom is my number one game. Doom is, like, the big one I'm really excited for. That's actually why I'm starting to play Doom 2 this week, because I want to play Doom uh, as a build-up, you know, <clears throat> to Doom Eternal. Um, the Final Fantasy remake I am excited for, too, because it's going to be a modernized version of, of a fun RPG, so I'm looking forward to that. Um... Outside of that, it's hard to get excited when you don't really know release dates and stuff. And a lot of games got delayed. Like, Marvel's Avengers would look pretty good. But I don't know, you know, how it's going to turn out. And that's going to wild away, you know. So I would probably say Doom is the one game I'm pretty hyped for right now. Outside of that, I'm not, like, super hyped for anything. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got here? The Dorm... Oh, shit. It's a lot of guys. Intruders, should we sound the alarm? Wait, we can always be running to the, to the masters for help. We should handle this on our own. Perhaps it's a test that's prepared for us. What are you doing? Only masters and apprentices are allowed here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so I'm investigating the disappearance of young Silcat. I told you your father would get suspicious shots, so he always hated Sith. My father doesn't understand he is blinded by his own prejudice. The Sith are tedious mastery of the Force. Our alliance with the Sith will bring strength to Manat and the Selkath people. <coughs> good, I knew the Sith would win. I see you are not as foolish as the others I have met. It's good to see that the Jedi Order also realizes the strength of the Sith and will do what is right when the time comes. If you encounter my father and tell him I will not return to him, I have cast my lot with the Sith and that is all. Dark side points gained. <coughs> <clears throat> okay. So that was a dark side choice. Alright, but well I'm still gonna fucking loot this whole place. The medical room. Whoa. Tell, tell Shasa, the Sith. Huh? <clears throat> this tortured Silgat was holding a sort of token. What the fuck? So they were tortured. Damn. Crash Bandicoot took me a dollar, so what about Last of Us 2? I mean, of course I'm hyped for Last of Us 2, but we don't even know when it's coming out. I can't get hype over a game when we have no idea what's happening with it, you know? Like, we'll probably get a lot more information about that come E3, but... <clears throat> I'm not gonna get hype about a game we know nothing about. <clears throat> Good to see another follower of the TTG of the Sith will learn well and benefit greatly from it. That's it? That's it. Damn, I can't even tell him that they tortured his friends. <clears throat> oh, shit! Oh. I mean, I didn't want to fight him, but he attacked me. What can you do? <clears throat> How did you get in here? Wait. I recognize you. <clears throat> Who Lord fucks this? Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Oh, yeah? It is not possible to destroy the master. It is suggested you run while my blasters warm up, meatbags. <laughs> they want to help. You wish, my <laughs> We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. This guy's gonna be an asshole, I get the feeling.
two v one here. You wouldn't heal. Wow. This is stupid. <clears throat> this is really stupid. I told my guys to heal, they wouldn't heal, they just stood there and refused to heal. Stupid fucking game. That was really dumb. <clears throat> now I have to find a way to fucking kill that guy with his shitty robot. Because he dodges the fucking shots all the time. What a pain in the ass. Okay. He's hurt. Got his ass! Dunce. Walked right into it. <clears throat> A Luxum Crystal. Dark Jedi Master Rogue. That's what I want to put on uh, my main character if he's ever fucking revived. <clears throat> so now it's going to be 1v1 with this asshole. I guess if I can walk him into these mines, I'll get him. Stuck in here. Wow, I can't figure out how to get back. <clears throat> how the fuck do I revive my party? It's so stupid. <clears throat> Ruby Atomic says this guy looks like he's from the Vampire Cult in Skyrim. Yeah, all the Dark Jedi look like that. Oh, what the? Oh, we're back. Okay, that's that's useful. <clears throat> Crash Bandicoot to the Dallas says Sony aren't going to E3. No, I'm aware of that. I know Sony's not going to be at E3, but what I think is, even though they won't be there, some of the games will be there. Remember, even though Sony's not there, maybe Naughty Dog will be there to present their game at least. Just because Sony's not doing a giant presentation doesn't mean zero games on a Sony console will be at E3. I don't know what you thought, where you got that impression from. <clears throat> Thank you for the dollar tip. Okay. Uh -uh. Kellink says, imagine if Darth Maul was killed because a random robot put down some mines and he ran into them. <sighs> hey, that's life, man. And that's how it's done. Choke him to death. Poor choke. <clears throat> okay, back to what we were doing. Before we all died because my team wouldn't fucking heal themselves because they're idiots, I all told them, heal, heal, heal. Wouldn't fucking heal. I got another Dark Jedi robe. Wait a minute. Defense bonus 2, dexterity bonus 8. Dark Jedi Master Robe, that's what I wanted. 3 and 8. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay. <clears throat> so what's in here? The hell? Uh, it's a random room. Oh. I guess there was something in there. A trap. A data pad. What's that data pad that I just got? <clears throat> I don't know. 
I got a data pad, but it's not telling me what it is. Huh. Right? I don't know what this data pad is for. No clue. <clears throat> well, I guess that's it for here. We can leave now. Oh, it's evidence of what the Sith were doing with the Silcath? Is it? It doesn't say that. <clears throat> it didn't say at all what it was. Okay. How do I like Kakarot so far? I do like it. Listen, are they rewriting the book on, you know, a Dragon Ball game? No. But it is pretty accurate to the anime, and if you like the story of the anime, <clears throat> this is basically the most accurate representation of that you can get in game form. So I do like it for that regard. And there's a lot of content, some nice attention to detail by adding in some of the optional characters from like the original Dragon Ball, the side quest. So it's pretty neat. It's not groundbreaking amazing. But as for a <clears throat> you know, new release, it's, it's fun. So. <clears throat> Okay. Let's go tell the guy what we found. I'm all fucked up. That's the shot. Where was that guy? He was at the bar, right? <clears throat> Crash Bandicoot, do you even know what E3 is? He took me to the Where will Naughty Dog show Last of Us 2 on E3? Microsoft or Ubisoft? Jeez, Phil, you're hilarious. You do realize that it's not just about the big trade, the big shows, that they have an entire floor of games on display at E3 that aren't under the umbrella of the big publisher or the big uh, companies. You know that, right? <laughs> There may be a giant boot there just for Last of Us 2 to show up and people will have exclusive footage and presentations about it. It's very possible. <clears throat> Listen, I agree E3 is completely outdated. Sony is also doing a big event uh, soon, or sometime in February, supposedly, is the rumor. Where everyone supposes they're going to reveal the PS5, and in addition to that, they're going to probably talk about Last of Us and all that stuff, so... <clears throat> Okay. Where's the bar? To Okay. <clears throat> this is the bar. It's a cultural distribution center. That's where I need to go. That's where I need to go for the mission to go get the star map, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. What? Oh, come on. Not again. What the hell is this robot doing? Oh, my God. The robot... It gets stuck on shit. <clears throat> The Last of Us 2 comes out in May. That's funny. There's no date. There's no date in May that's coming out. I think we're, we're, we might get a date soon, though, with that Sony event coming out in February. I think it might answer all our questions. I went the wrong way. Mercenary Enclave is up here. <clears throat> Jason J to the dollars. I was thinking about getting Disney Plus for my family. How much is it? I actually don't know. Cat, it's under the ca account is under Cat's name, and she she's uh, been paying for it. So I actually don't know how much it is each month. I have no idea. 
I would assume it's on par with Netflix. Okay, here we go. More information you have for me. We discovered the fate of the missing shell cat that my daughter Shasa. I have information for you. The Sith hired and oh, I already told them that. The Sith are training the shell cat youth in ways of the dark Jedi. This makes sense. It's a wonder I did not see this before. If my life brainwashes our youth and indoctrinates them into the ways of the Sith, you will have a strong following among the shell cat people. Strong enough to seize control of Manon and Arcolto. My daughter Shasa, she too has been indoctrinated? Yes. <clears throat> Your daughter joined the Sith. This is the most terrible, most terrible indeed. I must go now to inform the Shulkat authorities of what is transpiring. Here's the money I promised you. Give me my money and get out of here. <clears throat> I would have not expected such rudeness from a Jedi. Please excuse me, I must speak to the Manon authorities. All right, I leveled up. Sweet. <clears throat> Gribbly Atomic Chaser, what do you think that Sony needs to add to the PS5 that the PS4 doesn't have? I don't know. I really don't know. I think the PS4 is great. I don't know what they could possibly add. You know, like, <laughs> I really don't. I have no idea where to go from here when it comes to advancing this kind of stuff. <clears throat> If I up my repair skill, eventually I may be able to improve HK-47 again. Most of my persuade uh, uh, efforts have worked. Fuck it, I'm going to try to do it. Okay, powers. What do I want to get? Still can't do the highest lightning. Darn. Dream life I had. I can't do death field yet. I could do advanced throw lightsaber. It attacks three separate targets. <clears throat> Fine. <laughs> We're almost full dark side now. Damn. Huh. <laughs> Polish Frux is one of the things you'll probably notice right away. Will be faster loading times because the PS4 will have a, a solid state drive. <clears throat> I guess so. <clears throat> Alright, I need to go to a, a vendor and buy more health packs. So I need to go back to the main city and find a vendor, buy health packs. Then I could probably do the mission to get the star map. Get that done. It seems like there's another room past the gas in the Sith base, though. I don't know what's in that room. <clears throat> Doesn't the PS4 have a solid state drive? No. PS4 is a sal standard, standard uh, hard drive. Old school. <clears throat> Artificial. Docking bay. Nope, that's nothing. We gotta go this way. <laughs> okay, oops. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, let's see. Uh, Stingy Dink says, I'm sure, I think you only have the star map left to do in this planet. The hotel murder side quest, you need another party member to do it. Oh. <clears throat> A party member I don't have yet. <clears throat> there it is, the shop. Hey, Tyburn, how's it going? The Sith continue to befall the beauty of this watery world, but otherwise I am keeping well. Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just bill it to them? Of course, good soldier, I trust the Republic to pay its bills completely. <clears throat> Ripley Atomic says, I'm actually tempted to buy an Xbox One just for the backward compatibility only. Hey, since I got my Xbox One, you noticed most of the stuff I end up playing on it is backwards compatible, right? Like, a lot of the games i played in the past three, four years <clears throat> on the Xbox One are older games. It's not current games. And it, it gets a lot of use because of that. 
so. Alright, here we go. See what you got in stock. Damn, he has nothing I need. I want, I want advanced health packs. He doesn't sell them. Seriously? This really blows. I don't want regular health packs. They suck. <clears throat> With infinite level 3, I can get a constitution plus 3. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> this sucks. I can't buy any more health packs on this planet. I need to do a dungeon with, like, no health packs. This blows. <clears throat> Third Eye says that SSDs won't just improve load times, but also will help with a lot of the pop-in. I would say pop-in is still a major problem. Pop-in is a huge problem with, uh, with the current gen. So much pop-in, even in, you know, new games. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Gustavo took me a dollar and asked, why don't I like Resident Evil 3 as much as other Resident Evil games? You can tell when you play Resident Evil 3. It doesn't have as much polish as Resident Evil 1 and 2. In reality, it feels like they were trying to take the series in a different direction. Which, in reality, is true. Apparently, Resident Evil 3 was not supposed to be Resident Evil 3. I think the rumor is that, was it either Resident Evil 0 or Code Veronica was supposed to be Resident Evil 3, but it wasn't done in time. So they shifted the projects around, and they made that Resident Evil 3. Um, and then the other games came out later. Um, personally, I don't think this is good. I think that the... It just doesn't feel like I said. It feels like there's a little bit more wonkiness to it. It doesn't have enough ink ribbons. A lot of cheap deaths. Not as good as the first two, in my opinion. Still good, but not great. Uh, Excalibur 4 to me $5. So can I suggest canceling Disney Plus and putting money towards bills? Just a suggestion. Well, let's see. Let's think about this. What is it? Five, ten dollars a month for Disney Plus. We watch it all the time. We get entertainment out of it. Why not? Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll cancel every digital subscription I have. We'll stop eating food. You know, let's we'll sit here. We'll stare at the fucking wall and just breathe air all day when I'm off stream. Sounds like a good idea, right? Right? Or you could stop being an idiot. So there you go. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Ben Theodorship took the dollar. And he said, Neil Druckmann himself announced that Last of Us 2 is coming May 29th, and thanks for banning me. I didn't ban anybody, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Because we all know that because of the amount of debt that I'm in, which has nothing to do with me paying 5 to $10 a month for Disney+, Plus, that I should not spend any money ever, and I should just die because I don't spend money. Fucking idiot. Okay. I'm just curious if the, the Republic will say anything new before we head, head out there, because with this other mission we you did. You are ready to explore the Frackert Rift. Enter the Republic base. In the Colto packing room, the sub will have a course to... Wish you luck. No? No. There's no vendor here either, is there? I need a vendor to buy health packs from. But no one sells them now. I'm fucked. This really sucks. <clears throat> There's the sub. That's it? Exactly, dude froze. He says, live off breadcrumbs and water. Everything else is spending too much money. It's just ludicrous. Yes, I'm never allowed to ever spend any money just because, you know, I, I'm in bad financial straits. I'm, ta I'm doing taking steps to try to fix that, right? So don't ever spend any money ever. Right, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Just stare at the wall. That's what you should be doing. Just staring at the fucking wall for your whole life. Okay. Okay, stupid. <clears throat> Protusum Zone, I couldn't rent my condo because I couldn't find anyone reliable to rent the condo. The condo is not in a very good area, and it's considered an area that's a high-risk area, meaning a lot of people who rent there stop paying rent, start squatting. Basically, they're a bunch of shitheads. Um, and I couldn't find a reputable rental service. <clears throat> to do it for me. There were actually like three or four major ones in that area. I contacted them all and they were like, nah, we don't do it. We're not doing that area. We, that's considered too high of a risk area. 
the, I couldn't find anyone to do it. My, originally, the plan was my aunt was going to live there at the condo. My aunt did live there for about two years, and then she passed away. So it, it was kind of unexpected what happened. Um, and so because of that, it was like, damn, now what do I do? Now this thing's a big drain, and I have, I have nothing I could do with it. The other plan was that my, maybe my dad could have been like the renter and done stuff, but then he got hurt, basically, and had a lot of physical issues, so he couldn't do it, do that. And basically all the plans that I had fell apart behind the scenes um it's just light it happens sometimes Cass ssb is subscribed to the channel thank you Cass, for the sub i appreciate that <clears throat> okay junior mint thank you for the cheer we're not talking about nonsense here <laughs> we're not talking about nonsense we're not gonna make this talk about bankruptcy on the stream come on man okay so I don't know what else to do. I don't think I can buy health packs, right? The only thing I do is buy regular med packs, but those are too low to really, really help me. Um, I don't know what to do. There's, I don't think there's anywhere else on this planet that I can buy, like, health packs. Which is really stupid. I don't know why the hell the shop doesn't sell advanced health packs at this stage in the game. This is incredibly dumb. <clears throat> so, I'll say that. I'll, uh, let's, uh... <clears throat> I'll save the game. We may give it a shot, but I don't know how this is going to go at all. I don't. I think this is going to go poorly. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a shot. I don't know how this is going to go because I only have like 10 health packs. Whoa. See, oh man, the cutscene froze. Shit. <laughs> the cutscene stuttered. We'll find a ton of health packs down here. I, I don't know. VG stuff says heal from the inventory menu because it's easier than doing it from here. Where is the inventory menu? Uh, how do you do that? Look, from here. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Mr. Bubba Bear says I think that the game. Assumes you will have life healing powers at this point. And Ripley Atomic says 10 should be enough. I don't know, man. This could be a yeah. problem. Three antidote kits. Miss Demeanor just tipped me $10. Thank you very much to Miss Demeanor for the tip. I appreciate that. What's weird is contributions haven't been slow today, but the stream seems slow. Like, a lot of people aren't really talking with me. But contributions have been pretty good, so I have no complaints there, but... I would like to talk with you guys more if possible. Okay. Thank you, Miss Demeanor, for a $10 tip. Biggest contribution of the day so far. Oh, excuse me. Whew. <clears throat> okay. What else do we have? Anything else in this room? I don't think so. I'll check anyway. <clears throat> ah. Two repair kits. It's weird. The game's giving me, like, low-level shit. Why? We're at, a, we're at a part of the game where I need the advanced, and it's giving me, like, low-level stuff. <clears throat> Third Eye Cheer says, Consider you inherit $10 billion. Like, I could seriously just cut you off there. I have no rich relatives, so that's never gonna happen. Alright, but hypothetical. You get a new house and cars, would you open to up a business or invest in an existing one where you have a say how the money is spent? I would not get a new house or car. I like my house and car. I would just, you're right, I would probably invest in a business. It would probably be a brick and mortar business of some sort. Ow. <clears throat> How did Maybe you get even. In? Oh. Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. What the hell? Um. No, I'd probably start a business of some sort. Or maybe what I would do is buy some franchises. You know, because franchises usually, if you just hire good staff, they're self sufficient. Um. Something like that, more than likely. But I wouldn't move. I like my. I like where I live. I told you guys. I keep telling you this. I love where I am in life right now. I love my house. I love my family. Everything is good. It's just I need to get out of the financial rut. I mean, but outside of that, like, everything is nice. So, 
I wouldn't change a thing. I seriously wouldn't. Even if I were filthy rich, I wouldn't change a thing. <clears throat> um, Ripley Atomic cheered and said, This part reminds me of Soma. <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> Alright, calm yourself down. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. Whoa, this is... Dude, this is the guy who played, um... The guy on Deep Space, uh, not Deep Space, Voyager. What's his name? Neelix. This is the this is Neelix from Voyager. That's his voice for sure, a hundred percent. That's pretty cool that they've got him in here as a voice in in this game. Although he was in Star Trek and now he's in Star Wars game. <coughs> okay. Um. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. We have to. We have to leave the cell cast. They went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. Whoa, that's nuts. Where am to the scientists? They're dead. All dead. <laughs> they swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I, I locked the door behind us, but but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the cell calf, like us. Hmm. <coughs> you sniveling worm! You're just food for the cell calf. <coughs> no, you're one of them. You'll never get me. What an idiot. He really was a sniveling worm. What a coward. Sonic grenade and credits. Antidote. There's a lot of antidote kits, but no healing. Annoying. Alright, save again. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. <clears throat> I'm good today, Vincent. Thank you for asking. Seeing says, I always just stab the saber through the locker. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Italian Frogs, did your parents have a college savings fund for you or did you have to pay your way through college? They paid for some. My scholarship paid for some. And I paid for some. And I, had to pay, I had to pay my student loans off. So... They did pay for some, whatever, but it wasn't full. Like, they paid for some, student loans paid for some. You know, like, it was it was a payment off the ass because college is so fucking expensive. It's so ridiculous. <clears throat> Everything. It was so expensive, man. I hate, I don't want to talk about it. I get so angry thinking about it. Thinking about how much debt I put myself into and shit for nothing. Okay. Shut. Kelly says that's what the Voyager crew should have done when they first met Neelix. Just fucking slaughter his ass. Damn. Save again. Okay. Well, no way, no way, no way to tell where to go here. There's a door to the right. I guess this is a, a dead corridor here. Oh, there's another a locker. <clears throat> Computer spikes. Okay, so you view everything, huh? Central storage room. Well, there they are. It's four of them. Vent gas into the room. Say bye. <laughs> that was worth the spike. Fuck off. <clears throat> West storage room. <clears throat> Another one. Vent get Oh, three spikes. Damn, that's all my spikes. Alright, so I'm not going to do that one yet. East hallway B. That's empty. Oh, corrupt the patrol unit. There's a apparently patrol unit. South hallway. There's some droids in there. I can't do any of those. Security room. 
Damn, there's a droid that has a force field. I can't turn it off. We're in middle suit containment. There's so, so many enemies down here. Everyone here is dead. <clears throat> Security computer room. That's us. Alright, fuck it. Do it. Kill them all. Vent gas. <clears throat> They're all dead. So I just cleared two rooms of enemies I don't have to fight now. But I still have to kill all the droids with only seven health packs. Which could be a daunting task. Alrighty. We'll see how this goes. I have zero spikes left now. Ruby Atomic Cheer says there's actually a way to make spikes, but I forgot how. <laughs> Probably a way to schematics or something at some point you can do it, but I don't have it. I don't know. Okay. Droids. We have to fight the droids. Master? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Get these fuckheads. Chain lightning them. Nice. Damn, that shit is so good against the droids, man. Wiped them out. That was excellent. <clears throat> okay. Shit, there's more cell cat? I thought I killed them all. Gonna be Silcath I didn't get, even though I gassed the rooms. Famous McCroy just reached for three months. Says big ups, dark side, dark side. Thanks for what you do. You're welcome, Internet Famous McCroy. Thank you for the support. Parts. Don't fucking want those. Jedi Master Robe and a Crystal Sigil. Why the hell did he have a Jedi Master Robe on him? That doesn't even make sense. So, I can go through here. This isn't a real door, it's scenery. But this one I can go through. Probably more enemies in here. Looks like it leads to a, a series of rooms. See that? It leads to the central storage room. <clears throat> so much for the assault droids. Instantly vaporized. Pretty good. One single med pack. What the fuck? They seriously give me a single med pack. <laughs> a crappy weak ass single med pack. Wow. <clears throat> Stingy Dink says, Once you get the final party member, I'd swap HK for him. He's the best healer in the game. Alright, fair enough. Well. According to the map, the left room is a dead end. Here's the guys we gassed. Yeah. I got an advanced repair. The fuck was that? Got an advanced repair kit. No, I can't go in the locker. Scientist's memo. And a sonic emitter. 
What in the holy hell is a sonic emitter? <clears throat> no? Like, sonic rifle? What the fuck is a sonic emitter? What is it? I have no idea what it is. Anyone know? I don't see it anywhere. I don't see a sonic emitter anywhere, so I don't know who... What it is. <clears throat> you found out also got the fencing systems in the station of the Hracker Rift have gone insane. The station is overrun with mad Silcat and we have functioning machinery. Somewhere in the base is a star map. Okay. Oh, Stingy Nick says that was actually a quest item for something later. Oh, so I got a random quest item early, apparently. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Let's actually use the regular med pack. There we go. Let's save again. Oh, shit. What the hell? Save again. Save over what I just did. Okay. <clears throat> Need it for later. Fair enough. Okay. I am hurting it, but I'm going to run out of force. Okay. We are hurting it, but we're seeing it forever. Oh, the force field went down. Nice. We got it. We whittled it down piece by piece. <clears throat> nice. No parts on it? Oh man, nothing. No, no spoils. No spoils of combat. Oh, wait. Sonic Emitter. Here it is. I have it. It's an item. I don't know what the fuck it does, though. Okay, I don't know what to do with that. I'm just gonna... I guess I'm not gonna use it until I know what it does. <clears throat> okay. PW Dubs, no, I doubt that's true. What you just said. <laughs> okay. You'll need a diving suit to use with it. Oh. My camera's blocking enemy health bars. Okay. It's not a big deal, I don't think. Oh, so here's the room with all the dead scientists. And soldiers. Improved energy cell and Arcadian energy shield. I wonder if that's better than the Sith energy shield. Mmm. <clears throat> Yeah, it stops energy, sonic, cold, heat, and electrical. It stops all damage types. We believe Atomic just cheers. So what game do you think wasn't worth the hype? Um. Is somebody out there? Fishy? Oh, shit. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me, too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Someone's hiding in there. Um. I feel I don't feel any Destiny game has ever lived up to any of the hype that the Destiny franchise ever got. I think Destiny is insanely overrated and not a very good franchise. Um, you know, Call of Duty every year gets overhyped. Like Call of Duty: Modern Warfare was the best-selling game of 2019, and that game, in my opinion, the campaign was great, and the multiplayer is fucking terrible. So, it's really the games that have the biggest budgets when you really think about it. Oh, excuse me. Um, come out there right now, or we'll blast our way in. <laughs> That's what you think? Fishy think that too. These walls and door are six centimeters. No, 12 centimeters. Of so. Dura steel. I'm invulnerable behind my walls. Nobody's getting in here. <laughs> uh. That started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. 
Nothing can happen in here. No fishy food for me. Come out, we'll take you from the cell cat. No, no. Didn't work. No, 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 that's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The cell cat ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the cult are is. Huh. The fishies there. <clears throat> many, many, many fishies in between the water. If you don't come out, I'll leave you in there. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Is somebody out there? Come on, right now we'll blast our way in. I'll carve you into little fish bits. No, you can't have me in here. I'm invincible. Insert lightsaber into the locker. So much for him. Wow. So much for him. An environmental suit? We got an environmental suit. Locked. Oh my god, Blimey C Dives, did that guy give him special delivery vibes? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, he's dead now. Just like the special delivery guys, he's dead now. So I just got an environmental suit. Do you equip that? No. It's not something you can equip, apparently. Maybe it's automatic? Maybe during a certain part you just... You just put it on? I don't know. Well, that guy's fucking dead now. <clears throat> I already looted him. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't want to do that, but okay. Sure. You got a mine? Go to the left. What is the mine defending? A locker, right? Acknowledgement. What? Can you recover it? Uh, it blew up in his face. I guess he can't recover it. Ow. <clears throat> Scientist memo medpacks another sonic emitter. It's the second one. This is a dead end. Okay. <clears throat> you will use the sonic emitter later? Oh, okay, so it is going to come into play at some point. I should save again here. <clears throat> So far, so good. I haven't had to use any advanced health packs, so it's not so bad. No, this is not on three, Xbox 360. I'm playing this on Xbox One. It is backwards compatible. I think there's droids down there. Yeah. Because I came the other way, see? But I could go down that corridor and clear everything out. That's the airlock, so let's go down there and clear everything out. Well, now I need health back. Alright, we cleared the hallway. What screwed up is that there was a mine there that was just sitting there. I didn't know, and I walked right into it. It was like a hidden mine. It blew me up, and I did a lot of damage, so I needed to use a health pack. That sucked. So according to this, there's a whole room here. Oh, it's locked. Open sesame. Internet Famous McCroy, give me $3, says, Thanks for continuing Nice of the Old Republic. I know it's slower and less exciting than the new fidget spinner games. Old Rudels like me are loving it. Thanks for putting up with the shortcomings, learning the game, and force lightning it into a submission. I, like I said, I'm actually enjoying the playthrough. <clears throat> I like seeing uh, the, the predecessor to the big Bioware games that came after. And remember, this game was actually named, named Game of the Year by many different people in 2003. 
So it's actually a chance for me to play one of the best games of a generation of gaming that I missed out on. <clears throat> so I'm enjoying it, but I agree with you. Is it annoying that less people show up? No, almost, you know, low interaction when people are talking to me on the stream. Yeah, and it is. I, I like having you know playthroughs where everyone's excited and engaged, and it sucks that people aren't being engaged for this playthrough for some reason. I don't know why. I'm enjoying myself, so thank you for hanging out with me during this playthrough. I guess he fails at it. He tries to do it and he fails. <clears throat> Pressure door? I don't think I want to do this yet. I don't want to accidentally let, let pressure in or let something in, right? I don't know. Let the water in. Yeah, Nice of the Pro 2 is made by the same people as Fallout New Vegas. I am aware of that. Oh, Jesus Christ! That scared me! Lightly, these fucks. <clears throat> God, I'm a kill. Yeah, you got a gun, huh? Let's see how you can shoot us when I get first choke in your ass. Ha ha ha! Owned! Oh. <clears throat> so all the Silcat down here went completely nuts. <clears throat> Look at this shark out there. Ha! <laughs> it's cool looking. I like it. <clears throat> dun 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 dun. An energy projector. I don't know if that's for the robot or not. Okay. So this is how we get back to the other corridor we were already in. I guess we gotta break the door. It must be locked. <clears throat> is it working? I guess this door won't open, huh? I'm hitting it. It's not losing any health. God damn it. That sucks. It means we gotta go all the way back around because there's an area I didn't do. See? There's an area I didn't do, so I gotta go all the fucking way back. VG stuffed, cheered, and says, This year, during downtime, we'll be doing Knights of the Republic 2. I recommend it for the PCs. It's much more content in that version. Uh, I think one Knights game is enough for the year. I certainly could play two. It's also backwards compatible on Xbox One. I would not be playing the PC version at all. So just to warn you, even if it has more content, I'm still gonna play it on Xbox. So <clears throat> that's just something to know ahead of time. Oh, really? So, Stinky Dink said we're going to be making use of those environmental suits and the sonic emitter. We're actually going to walk on the water, and we're going to use the sonic emitter to get the sharks off our ass. Well, that's interesting, I guess. You fuckhead. I got gas mine. Come on. Oh, that's annoying. Stupid gas mine. There's another pressure door. So there's three different pressure doors to go outside. <clears throat> okay. Italian Frogs says, do you think new releases this year seem low because everyone's holding off for the next-gen consoles? It's possible. <clears throat> it's definitely possible that a lot of games are developing for next-gen consoles. Ugh. It's also possible a lot of games are just waiting for an E3 announcement. You know what I mean? Like... A lot of these things, they just wait for the right time. Let me save the game, and I guess we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> okay. Seal from the other side, so I can't go out that one. Okay. Can't use those lockers, either. Alright, this shield's pretty cool. I'm glowing red. 
I was able to open it from this side only. What the hell? I couldn't open it from the other side? That's weird. <clears throat> okay, no airlock in this room. There's two more airlocks coming up. You only have one environment suit available. If you piece of the airlock, all pretty members will have to stay behind until you return. Okay. There's a sonic emitter. I only have two. Oh god. What am I doing? I'm so slow. Oh, here's another enviro suit. Can I get it? Oh, man. Who's there? You're not Cellcast. I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? Who are you? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Cellcast killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Cellcast swarmed over us. There were dozens of them, and they they looked wrong somehow, like something had changed inside them. Huh. Insane or something. What's oh, making them act I like that? Gone back to the surface <clears throat> long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell caps. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. There is now. I cleared it out. What are you going to do in the underwater? What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? <clears throat> I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Harakert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. <laughs> uh... I'll come with you. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. <laughs> not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. He's going to get eaten by a fucking shark, isn't he? Probably. What's the other direction over here? You're not famous for Croy to me a dollar. So I was the voice acting compared to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I mean, it's good. I like the voice acting in that. I like the voice acting in this. <clears throat> There's no way to run. You just gotta move super slow. <clears throat> oh my god. This shit is, like, abysmally slow. A welded door? This was welded shut. No way to open it. <coughs> Anything over here? <coughs> yes, some items. Nothing here. But there's a fo foot locker over here. I don't know what the other thing is. Oh my god. Wow, all that for two frag mines. <coughs> you know, Bioware games always has <coughs> outstanding voice work. They always hire professionals. And Dragon Ball Z Kakarot has most of the actual cast, you know, from the from the shows. So, it's all great stuff. <clears throat> I got stuck. Mr. Bob says, I remember this segment. It's like they did totally different times of gameplay to mix things up. I guess so, but at the same time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So, this could take forever just to go to a short area of space here. I also only have two sonic emitters. So, if more than one shark comes to get me, I'm pretty screwed, I think. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Oh my god. So he went that way. And he claimed that's the ocean floor. So then what's this way? Am I excited about DK64? I mean, I don't know. I've never played it. It's hard to get excited about something you, don't, you literally know nothing about. I don't know a damn thing about the game, so... <clears throat> I don't know if it plays like Donkey Kong Country, if it's something completely different, you know. Well, I can go back in this airlock, but there's no point. I gotta go to the ocean floor. Um, OG Rascal did 100 bit cheer. He says, I know money will be an issue. If it weren't, which console would you get first, PS5 or Xbox? I don't know. We don't have enough information. I have no information. The only information we know <clears throat> is that supposedly games that are gonna be on Xbox are going to also be on Xbox One. There will be no exclusives in the first couple of years. So, for me, it's kind of like, if I if it's a Microsoft exclusive game, I can still play on Xbox One, and maybe it's not that big of a deal to, to you know what I mean, to have the new Microsoft console? <clears throat> I don't know. More than likely, PlayStation's going to end up having great exclusives, like always. So, that's probably the one you're going to need. Here comes a shark. It's gonna get eaten. Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there. We have to keep moving. The water is filled with cow! Ah! The water is filled with gah! Ah! And now he's dead. <clears throat> well then. <clears throat> Thank you, Dooley, for 150 bit cheer. I appreciate that. Good to see you, Dooley. How you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Thanks to everyone who contributed so far today. Currently, it is Capcom with a 200-bit cheer, the top cheer. Uh, Miss Demeanor with the top tip of $10. And remind, reminder that tips do help me more than uh, anything else right now. Please consider tipping me if you can. <clears throat> I'm just going to get ready with the Sonic emitter, huh? <clears throat> I don't know which way to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or the other way. It kind of sucks. It insta-kills them. Nice. Problem is, I only have one more now. So hopefully I don't get another encounter in this direction. <clears throat> oh, I see more. I'm pretty fucked. I only have enough for one more charge. <clears throat> Jack Spartacus says, DK64 is fun. I think you'll like it. Well, good. Huh, really Tommy Tree said it's a megalodon. Well, I guess I gotta use it and kill these two. <clears throat> I better do another two for one or else I'm gonna get eaten. I gotta get them both to come at once. Got it. Two for one. But now I'm out. So if I run into another shark, I'm completely fucked. Let's say there's two ways to go. Unless I could find another Sonic emitter. VG stuffed to the 201 bit cheer. He said, I would like to be the top cheerer. Also, the Sonic emitter has infinite charges. Oh! Oh! Well, then I'm fine. Then I have no risk at all. Okay. <clears throat> Here I am, all worried. Why did it say locked if it then let me in? <laughs> locked? Oh, look, you're inside. What? <laughs> okay. Thank you, VG Stuffed. And thank you for letting me know I had infinite charges. I had no idea. I thought I was dead. <clears throat> you indeed are the top cheer of the day. Thank you. Let's continue on here. Oh, shit. Oops. 
course, kill them all from around the corner. Nice. Okay. Republic soldier slaughtered. <clears throat> A breath mask. Antidote kit. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me. They put so much of that shit in here. That is annoying. I was gonna say is I wonder if something's much better. Like this, the dueling shield? Nah, the Sith energy shield is better. Good game goblin tip me a dollar. So what's up? Why is your black character now white? Does he have Michael Jackson's disease? No, he does not. He's because he was overcome with evil for power of the dark side. He does not have that debilitating disease that Michael Jackson had. But thanks for bringing that up. We actually referenced that earlier in the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cryo... Three cryo grenades on that guy. Oh, shit. Gotta find a way to let them out. Med pack. Cryo band grenade. Ah, oh, computer panel, but I have no spikes. Yeah, none. <clears throat> this thing is sick. Dude, it's so good. Now I gotta kill this guy with hand, uh, hands, uh, hand to hand, because I have no force left. <clears throat> yeah, the lightsaber throw is real good. That was awesome, dude. Now, just the first time I really used it, that thing fucked him up. Very nice. I am pleased with that upgrade choice. <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. Really? This is getting ridiculous at this point. With these random ass fucking explosions out of nowhere. Fine. That's really dumb. <clears throat> A different airlock? A different suit. But how do I get them out of the, uh... And without, I think without a computer, it happened again. I think without a computer spike, I can't save these people. <clears throat> Equip the breath mask and I'll get poison immunity? Oh, really? I think I need to do that. No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Firaxa and the cell cap in. No, stay out. Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! Great. 60 seconds to complete depressurizing. I'm gonna die. I have no way to help. I'm done. <clears throat> I can't save myself. It's over. 48 seconds to complete the pressurization. There's nothing I can do. I'm dead. To complete the pressurization. What? What do you want? <clears throat> Go away. <clears throat> I'm going to die if you don't stop the sequence. No. Correct. I'll keep you safe, I promise, but you have to let me I... in. It worked! I don't want to hurt you. 
I don't want to hurt anyone. I'll unlock the door. Oh. You have to come in quickly. I, I'm sorry for what I did. You ass. I don't know what came over me. Tried to me. kill me. I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <clears throat> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both You're just puss. scared. When the cell cat went <laughs> crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside Excuse the station me. when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Yummy. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while. And those strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly <clears throat> apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Green Jenny says, uh, how are things today? By the way, your character looks like Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. I guess now he does. Yeah. Dooley to me $7. Enjoying the playthrough, Phil. Have a nice stream. Thank you very much, Dooley, for the $7 tip. <clears throat> As much appreciated. Let's get you get that uh, updated on the leaderboard here. Thank you, everyone who's been supportive of the stream so far today. <clears throat> you tried to kill me. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under <laughs> a lot of strain recently. You know, the whole thing about having my entire research team devoured before my eyes. Kono, Kono, calm down. Don't talk to him like that. <laughs> We've gone through a lot. We said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just. Sorry for my actions. <clears throat> what are you doing here? <clears throat> How about I ask the questions? Oh, okay. <clears throat> what is it you want to know? Have you seen a star map? A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Colto harvesting machine. <clears throat> but we can't go anywhere uh -huh. near those now. Maybe. Maybe. That's why it all happened in the first place. What are you babbling about? The work teams <laughs> were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Faraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then huh. all the Silkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. So kind of like mind control or something, right? Was it protecting something? Nay, <clears throat> it may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. Ah. Uh -huh. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kulto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Hmm. Ruby Atomic Cheer, you say, what is this, Deep Blue Sea? Apparently so. Apparently everyone's getting eaten by crazy sharks. No one knew about this thing? We had no clue at all. Until it came out. <clears throat> Maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the cell cat insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying huh. dormant deeper in the rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the culto. Huh. Maybe that would explain more. <clears throat> why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. Oh, it's protecting also, its, its food source, it's so maybe. Large. It must be feeding off the culto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Colto as a food source. And all those other Farax and sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. What can I do about it? Where is the monster Farax and now? I need to get past that it for the star map. It's out there still. <clears throat> huh. Out there, waiting for us. What can I do about the it? The Farax and sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got <clears> it working <throat> right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. 
Where's the compound? The propellant we made was supposed to drive frax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know mm -hmm. how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. How would I poison the shark? What else could I do? What else could I do? Well, how would I poison the we shark? Take this canister of toxin. <clears throat> we were working on it just before the giant shark drove all the cell cath insane. All you <clears throat> need to do is insert it into the main culto harvester and have it vented. Get huh. away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Faraxin shark. What, other, what else could I well, do? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. And how would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure <clears throat> their self-oxidizing fuel, so the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydrolium gas we use is a gas at one to three million sangin. Oh my god. A liquid god. at about four million sangin and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very <clears throat> explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. So I'll try to poison the shark. I'll try to destroy the harvesting machine. I'll do what I want. I kill both of you as well. What? No. Run, Kono. He's one of them. <laughs> That's what you get. <clears throat> that is what you get. Well then, I killed him for absolutely no reason. I mean, I'm pretty much full dark side now. Look, there's like, what else could I do to push myself over the edge? <clears throat> he killed him for absolutely no reason. <laughs> so, I have two options. I can poison the shark, or I can try to destroy the machinery. I don't think either one's a better option. I just think they want to give you different ways to do it. I guess we'll see. Okay. Okay.